All right? That's work. Stay away from the CPs, right? Stay away from the CPs. I have to say CPs because um, TikTok filters those words out. So braids, put in what put in what I mean, right? The C dot P dot N dot, okay? So I have to say it that way because TikTok be flagging me. It's shut me down all the time. Stay away from those, y'all. I know it seems great, right? Um, they selling dreams, okay? They're saying, oh, you can use this number, right, to go get you cars and houses and all that type of stuff. You guys, use your common sense, right? You do have the right to hide your social, okay? You have the right. Here's where it becomes your right, and here's where it becomes fraud, okay? Soon as you use that CP to apply for things, right? We'll keep it simple. I don't want to get too technical. I don't want to confuse nobody, right? If you use a different person's, right, a different number to apply for something, you're, that's fraud, right? Like, let's that's, that's, keep it real simple, okay? Um, another thing, here's how they get you too, right? If you're using the CP, right, if you're using someone else's name with it, that's, <laughs> that's fraud, okay? If you're using a different birthday, <laughs> that's fraud. That's not you, all right? So just be careful out here, man. I know there's a lot of stuff. I know they're selling dreams. Just be careful, right? I would rather you guys... Try to fix your credit yourself, then go get a C.P.N. I already try to fix your credit yourself, all right? Even if it takes, it took me 10 months, right, to go from the fours to mid-sixes, and then another six months to get to the sevens, and then another six months after that to finally touch an eight, right? So two years, I went from a four to an eight. took me two years, but I didn't have me, right? I didn't have somebody on live telling me exactly what to do for free, right? That's like, I didn't have that, okay? So... I would rather you try to fix your credit yourself or reach out to a professional, let my team take care of you, than you go listen to somebody on Instagram talking about, (laughs) this CP going to save your life. (laughs) You're going to jail. (laughs) You're going to jail, bro. Okay? You're going to jail. Go into the bank with a C C dot P dot N. Go in there, go into the bank and say, hey, this this is this. I need a bank account and I need a credit card. Okay? Security gonna drop kick you. Okay? They'll put you in a straight jacket and they're gonna throw you in a car. Right? So <laughs> come on, man. Let's be serious. All right. Whew. All right. I got 46. Damn. All right, 46 comments. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna run through these quick. I use my cards after the statement date. Okay, that's good. But you gotta pay that balance all the way down, right? You wanna pay it down as close to 1% as possible. Okay, so if you're in the 600s, if you're in the 600s, you want to get that utilization to single digits, right? Between one and nine. If you're in the 700s, you want to get that utilization between one and 5%. That doesn't mean you can't use your card. Okay, that's not what, that's not what it means. People will get that confused. You just want to make sure you pay that balance a couple days before that statement date. Okay. Why do you set your payment date three days prior before your statement date? Because it gives you enough time. Let's just say you don't got enough money. Your payment fails. You got an extra day to, you know, give yourself a little buffer, a buffer room. So pay statement balance, not full balance. You can do either or, but most people, it's more practical to pay the statement balance. Some comments in the live were filtered to protect the community's experience. Come on, y'all. Cut that out. How fast can I get my credit score up paying credit cards down? If you pay your utilization down, the next time it updates, you'll see the difference. How can I remove a debt already proved doesn't belong to me, but was sold again years later? File a police report. You do if it's if it's really not yours, use the laws that we were given. Okay, you use the tools that we were given. File a police report. You file that police report with the CFPB, with the FTC, and you're going to get all that information and send it into the credit bureaus. 